Live at the barbershop. I told y'all we was backstage with a lot of familiar faces. How you doing, sweetheart? Hi. How you doing? Thanks for having me. Let the people know who you are. Hi, I'm Eva Evans, the stand-up comedian out of Brooklyn, New York. You see me on Hustling Brooklyn on BET, uh, Loving Hip Hop's Top 40 Greatest Moments on on uh, VH1, and I'm also at BuzzFeed now, currently. How long you been doing comedy? Um, last month made four years. Ooh. Yeah, so I'm still a baby in the game, but I'm, I'm getting I'm getting in there. Okay. So who you feeling in the game right now? Um, right now I would say. I don't know, like, the guys that I watch, I don't know if everyone's watching them right now, like, my top five, I guess, would be, like, Cat Williams, mm-hmm. D.L. Hughley, some more, Sarah Silverman, and, um, who else? Who else? Who else? Oh, Chris Rock, for sure. Mm. Yeah. I like Chris Rock. Yeah, that's my guy. So, if you could say what kind of, um, comedy that you do, what kind of, what are you leaning on now? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's definitely not clean. Uh-huh. And, you know, if you have young children, you probably shouldn't subject them to my, my stand I like that. <laughs> You got my vote. <laughs> right. But my comedy is based off of my childhood, um, you know, my experiences in life. So it's just about, I mean, if you talk about who you are, the person, and who you, and what you've been through, you never have to remember shit. Because mm-hmm. what you've been through is you, so you just talk about yourself. When you're doing your comedy, do you freestyle or do you write everything down? I'm all, I write jokes. Sometimes I freestyle, but I like to write my jokes and go out there with a plan. Mm-hmm. And I, um, I adjust according to the city, the crowd. Um, Cause you know, if I go and I see, okay, this is I'm in Houston, and they like slower jokes, and they, they don't like things that you know you have to think about. Cause there's some jokes you have to think more about okay. than other jokes. I'm like, all right, well, then I'll adjust accordingly once I'm on stage. But I always I always go out there with a game plan. Okay. Yeah. So you can name some of the places you've been doing the comedy. Oh work? yeah, I've done Chicago, Houston. Like within this past two years, mm-hmm. like Chicago, Houston. Um, I was in Toronto and uh, the Queen Elizabeth Theater in August. Um, I've done the Funny Bones, both Funny Bones of Virginia. I've done Carolines and Gotham and um, and uh, Westside Comedy Club in Manhattan. Uh, where else? Uh, in LA, I'm gonna be in LA for two weeks in January. I'm gonna be hitting stages out there. I'm gonna be hitting Chocolate Sundays. What else have I done? I've just been all over the place, mm-hmm. honestly. Yeah. So, do you feel like um, since you're such a beautiful woman? Oh, thank you. Do you get like problems? In the beginning of my career, yeah. Like you know, I'm four years in, so like the first three, I would say, was me. You know, proving myself. Okay. But then once men, they stopped seeing me as a cute girl and they saw me as competition. Like, oh, I gotta, you know, she she really about this. And um, I saw that the shift in energy. So now I feel like I, I don't feel so much you know, anymore. But of course, I'm a young black woman. You know, people, you know, I'm not too hard to look at. So of course, I have a couple occasional asshole who does some asshole sexist Me Too movement shit. But for the most part, people respect me. So how you be doing them heckles? Oh, <laughs> heckles like you just gotta, you just gotta make them, you just gotta hit them where it hurts. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Shut, so it's, they shut them up. Like you can't have a heckler take the show away from you. Okay. Because then you look like the asshole. Mm-hmm. People forget, oh, that was a heckler. They they, they think you're the idiot. Mm-hmm. So you just gotta. It, I mean, it's a sticky situation. Um, you know. One time, this guy told me, like, oh, take your top off. Mm-hmm. I'm like, nigga, you would not know what to do with these cities. Like, mm-hmm. everybody started laughing at him. So it's like, you know, you just gotta really play them. Mm-hmm. And make him feel like, okay, let me not talk again, because she's gonna okay. violate. I heard you say, um, uh, what was that, Love of Hip Hop? How was that working on that? Yeah, I did, I did, um, I did uh, the top 40 greatest moments. So okay. I uh, I made fun of the cast and scenes. Okay. So that was fun. Because mm-hmm. I, I mean, I, I started on reality TV. And uh, I don't really like reality TV, so when they hit me up, I'm like, eh, they're like, oh no, dude, this is what you'll be doing. Like, oh, that's perfect because I get to, you know, um, showcase my my comedic talents mm-hmm. and not really be in reality TV okay. at the same time. So yeah, that was dope. All right. So what kind of music you listening to? <laughs> uh, I'm from Jamaica originally, so I'm really into dancehall and reggae. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, y'all heard it. Yeah. Live at the barber shop. If people want to get in touch with you, yes. I follow me well. on Instagram and Twitter at Eva Evans Comedy, and visit my website evaevanscomedy.com. Y'all heard it. Live at the barber shop. You know what it is. All right. Thank you for having me to barber shop. Mm-hmm. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. This is cute.